Good morning. Who's going to be that first one to check in today? It's always a fun game. Tuesday morning. P.E. Class. We're live on YouTube. I Black Tuesday. Nolan Ryan Jr. has a hot chocolate. Love it. Start live video. We're live on Facebook. Love it. Get yourself ready to go. If you have any eye black, put some on. Eye black Tuesday. Good morning. Make sure the screens are clear. Ooh. You will be missed, Nolan Ryan Jr., but you'll get the first couple of minutes in, that's for sure. Come on in. Good morning, White Ninja in Idaho. I black salute. I black salute. As you check in, I will give you some I black. Nolan Ryan Jr. gets the eye black. Billy, Billy D in the house, eye black. Soto in the house, eye black. Elijah the drummer, eye black for you. It's eye black Tuesday. Eye black Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, you are. Who else is checking in on the YouTube, on the Facebook? Judge Jr., eye black Tuesday. And if you have some eye black of your own, do apply. Put it on. Dakota, welcome in. I black. Mm -hmm. ah. pew, 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 pew. Dinger with I black. John B. Kennedy, our winner from last night's trivia contest. There you go. Very good. Outfield tips. It's all about footwork. That's what I learned in college. Uh, your first step is super important, right? Uh, so be ready to go right before the pitch is thrown. Keep your feet moving. You want to keep that momentum going in your toes. And then all the hard work happens with your feet. So just practice uh, running down balls over your head, over your right shoulder, over your left shoulder. And that first step, if it's over your right shoulder, boom, it's got to be right there. If it's over your left shoulder, boom, right there. And then we can cross over. Good question there from Dakota Hernandez. As far as a crow hop goes, you want to do it quickly, but with power. So you're going to hop off of your glove foot onto your throwing foot. Right. For me, I'm a righty, so I hop off my left onto my right into this position right here where I'm bouncing on my back knee with serious power. If I'm a shortstop, I feel the ground ball, hop onto my throwing foot, and then stride. But I got to bounce on my back knee first. If you're an outfielder, you can crow hop a little higher. Good questions coming from Dakota this morning. Knott's Berry Farm. You get an eye black salute. The Jones family in Indianapolis. You get some eye black. Cheerios and boiled eggs. Speedy. There's some eye black for you as well. Justin Egan, eye black. M9 baseball, Rhett Albright. We're going to get a good workout in today. I am repping our baseball lifestyle 101 here uh, because we had a epic trivia contest last night and this is a baseball lifestyle hat and a shirt work hard dream big missy's in the house in florida i black salute for you at a girl any more i blacks to dish out all right go tell some friends go tell some friends coach ballgame's about to drop a rap 
I'm going to do some rapping. We're going to do some dancing and then we're going to stretch and get a workout in. But we need more numbers here. We need more people here. So you've got to go text, 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 email, 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 share on Facebook, share on Instagram, do me a post, say, hey guys, go check out this wacky dude with a shirt tucked in. He's got some eye black on and he's about to do a rap. He's going to do some rapping and some dancing. Dakota Hernandez, boom, remind me, I'll do that. Keep it going. Who else is sharing? Mark Heilig, you get an eye black salute. Who else is coming on in here? I'm not going to drop my rap until we've got more people here. Some of your friends might be sleeping in. Go wake them up. Pickle and Penguin are in the house. You get some eye black. Very good. Awesome. Love it. Come on down now. Yeah. We'll get you some follows. Remind me after class, boys. Fantastic. All right, it's baseball time. I see the numbers rising. That's what I'm talking about. We need all the parents to do the same thing. Hey, hey, uh, uh, you want to drink your coffee in peace? Boom, come over to Coach Ballgame's YouTube channel, Arm Circles. The kids will be entertained and backwards while the parents get to drink a little coffee in peace, cross over, that's it. And arms high, sniff your armpits. Woo, my arms just popped. That means I got to say, oh, my lanta. Touch your toes, don't pick your nose. That's it. Spread left kneecap. <laughs> sniff it real good. Switch. Sniff your right kneecap. Armpit smell like this morning. Maybe a little bit of eye black. It's eye black Tuesday. If you've got eye black, put it on. Picking strawberries. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, pop. 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 On your bee honk, a butterflies. 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 Yes, indeed. Stretch it out. Why do we stretch? Why in the world would we stretch? To make us faster and to prevent injury. Both of those things. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. Where did I get these socks? Big lots. That's right. Six pairs for $5. Let's give big lots a round of applause. Now get both both hands out to those phalanges out there. The chest to the kneecap. Switch. Have you told your friends about this class? The whole world should be here right now. Coach Ballgame's about to sing and dance. And you're going to dance with me. Both phalanges. If you've been watching my YouTube videos, you've seen my What a Ball Player Does song. It's my music video. We're about to do it together. You'll dance with me and sing it if you know it. Modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh, my Atlanta. That's it. Hug that knee into the chest. The song we're about to sing, the chorus, is Soy un jugador. De pelota, homie, so why don't you join me? That means there's a ball game going on, and you should join me, friend. Switch! Twist and look the other way. If your back pops, say, oh, Tommy Lasorda. And hug that knee into the chest. Tell your knee you love it. Say, I love your knee. Our theme of the week, spread joy. One way we can spread joy is by telling our own kneecap that we love it. Downward facing dog. Downward facing yoga dog. Roof. Upward facing yoga dog, also known as the cobra. <laughs> half moon. That's it. Other way, half moon. That's it. And up to your feet. Hustle salute. When somebody's hustling real fast, we give them the hustle salute. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. 
Faster. Freeze. Faster as you can. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. There you go. Flamingo stretch. If you're checking in a little late, welcome in. Eye Black Tuesday. I'm putting eye black on your face. The eye black keeps the sun out of your eyes, but it also declares to the world that you mean business, that you're ready to spread some joy today. Switch. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. That's it. Twist those trunks. Twist them. Twist them. Twist them. And we're going to go elbow to the knee. Ready? Elbow to the knee. Elbow to the knee. Bang. Four. Five. Now switch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going hand to the foot. One. Two. Three. Four, five, other one, hand to the foot. Soy un jugador de pelota, homie. Three claps, one, two, three. <laughs> Neck movement and 10 jumping jacks on your marks. Get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, two minute jog on your marks. Get set. Go. Two minute jog. I'll be throwing some shout outs. Whoever's been checking in. Water slide is in the house. Quesadilla and strawberry yogurt. Billy Bryce has got the eye black on. Way to go. BMW is in the house. Eye black salute. Yes, my mom loves my white socks from Big Lots. Got them at Big Lots. They're so comfortable. Josh Rich is in the house. Blake Cox. Ricky Milford's in the house. I Black Tuesday. 45 seconds down. Are you running up your stairs? Are you running around your house? Mrs. Ballgame is running up and down the stairs as we speak. I have inspired her. With my tucked in shirt and my big lot socks. I hope your shirt's tucked in. Two minute job. That's it. If you can only run in place, then do so. Soto is running around the house in Missouri. The Jones family running around their house in Indianapolis. Judge Jr. running in his backyard in Florida. What are we doing? BMW, water slide, penguin, pickle, speedy, dinger. Nolan Ryan Jr.'s got to go pretty soon. Deep breath in through the nose. <sighs> Slowly out the mouth. Ten seconds remaining. Ten seconds to a water break. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, boom, water break. If the shirt's untucked, no, no, that's looking funky. Running around the bases just like a spider monkey with the average eye contact, just not acceptable. Vintage ball cards, they're gonna be collectible. To have some real fun, you don't need approval. If you're sliding with the wrong leg, it's going to be brutal. Tall glass of milk with the vitamin D. Got to hit you a tater deep in the cheap seats. Here's what they're saying when you're running and you're playing. Running and you're playing with some dirt on your shirt. Don't forget, crack the sunflower seed. You get a groovy little nickname and a Band-Aid on your knee. So trim that nose hair and check for the fuzz. I black salute because that's what a ball player does. Yo! Hit it. Dance with me. Soy un jugador de palota, homie. So why don't you join me? Crazy with the attaboys. Soy un jugador 
de palota, homie. So why don't you join me? Second, second, first. Forces of leather and a ball that stays fair. Ban those iPads with a down and ready catch. Because one's got the ball, the other's got the bat. The seeds are in the mouth and the eye black's looking fat. With the game face on and the pine tar sticky. I want to spit, but I don't know how. The time is right for a home run swing. My bat flip's on hand with some eye contact. Let's do it like a ball player. So... Un jugador de palota, homie. So why don't you join me? This is her favorite song. Soy un jugador de palota, homie. So why don't you join me? Oh yeah! Round of applause. So that music video is on my YouTube channel. Go watch it. It's epic. It's fun. Um, and uh, share it with all your buddies, okay? All right. A couple quick announcements before we get going. Spread joy. That is the theme of our week. All right, Arcadia, North Carolina is in the house. Attaboy, Chicago Cubs. Spread joy. So what is one way we can spread joy today? BMW in Florida, water slide in California. Billy Bryce, Dakota Hernandez, Laura, Mr. Thornburg, Josh Rich, Penguin and Pickle. Type it in, in the comment section. What is a way you're going to spread joy today? For me, it was just rapping my song, What a Ball Player Does. What can you do today? I'm waiting. Joseph Pugh is in the house. Billy Bryce says, be a good person. Scholar salute. Turn the imaginary pages of an imaginary book. That's right. What's another way we can spread some joy today? Don't, don't tell me Billy Bryce is the only one watching, paying attention. How can we spread joy? Maybe shake somebody's hand, look them in the eye and say, hey, you're awesome. How about a chest bump? Right? You run at somebody and bump chests. Poof. Maybe an eye black salute. Maybe a mustache salute. Maybe a beard salute. Maybe a double bicep salute, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, bounce back salute, bravery salute, leadership salute. How about a sportsmanship salute? Give them the sportsmanship salute. Penguin and Pickle, say hi to the neighbors uh, while you're walking around the neighborhood. Scholar salute. Call and check on the grandparents from Chicago Cub in Arcadia. Scholar salute. Help out your parents. Billy Bryce, Scholar Salute. Tell, uh, I need to know who that's from, Catherine Jones. Oh, is that the, the Jones family in Indianapolis? How are we going to spread joy, girls? Telling the story again. What story? About the little boy who ran to get milk and brought it back. Oh, yeah. What's that story? Who can tell me what that story's about? Soto's going to buy the neighbors some toilet paper. Sportsmanship salute. Charlotte Jones, Nolan Ryan Jr. is going to tell some jokes. What is Water Slide going to do? Wow, Water Slide actually has a Zoom meeting right now, and he's doing this. Mustache salute. Um, who can tell me who whose story is that about? Whose story is that about? Charlotte Jones just said, we can go tell people about that boy that ran to get milk and brought it back to earn one penny a day. Who's going to get the answer right? White Ninja's going to spread joy by sweeping the floor. Sportsmanship salute. Gary Hoover is in the house. Call and check on the grandparents. Roberto Clemente is correct. Double bicep salute. Let's give Roberto an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. Awesome. Get your notebooks out. We're going to do our seven. Let's do the seven. While you're getting your notebooks and your ball out, some of you, this may be your first class, and you're like, what's the seven? Well, we do seven drills every single day, and we try and get a little bit better each day. By the way, you saw this drop on my Instagram today. Go follow me on Instagram for all the updates. It's a coloring book. Coloringbook.com. 
They are in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's give them a round of applause. Clap, 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 clap. They're making a coach ball game coloring book. That's right. So stay tuned for that. Yes, yes, yes. It's got add a boy. What else do we have? Charlotte Jones, you'll love this. It's got add a girl. And there'll be 16 total pages in this. Pretty awesome. Um, that you'll be able to color. And there's some word searches in there. It's going to be super cool. All right. Use a ball. I'm a baseball player, so I'm going to use a glove as well. But if you want to use a balled up sock or a piece of paper, high five the sky, folks. High five the sky. Meet it, squeeze it, and freeze it above your head. On your marks, get set. Go. Oh. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it, but don't forget to freeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Yeah. High five the sky. Remember to keep the elbow in, fingers to the sky. Meet, squeeze, freeze. Elbow in, fingers to the sky. Meet it, squeeze it, freeze it. For all you moms and dads out there that are going to be teaching baseball or coaching Little League Baseball, kids really respond to things that rhyme. And, and funny words and animal references. So use as much of that as you can in your teaching. 20 seconds to go. How many have you gotten so far? Chicago Cub, Pickle, Penguin, Soto, Water Slide, Nolan Ryan Jr., Charlotte Jones. What about you there, Mr. Bryce? Who else? Who else is in the house? Speedy, BMW, Judge Jr., and stop. Write that number down. Write it down. Uh, I asked some of you to graph your data yesterday. Raise your hand if you've already started that process. There's a lot of math in baseball. So uh, you can graph your data. This is number one, high five the sky. Number two, meet, squeeze, and freeze. I'm seeing some great numbers rolling in. From Charlotte Jones. What's your nickname, Charlotte Jones? from BMW, from Super Henry, from Judge Jr. On your marks. What's the wall drill? You toss the ball against the wall, but you gotta catch it fingers to the sky. Cup of soup won't count. If you get in the habit of catching it like this, boink, it's gonna hit you in the schnozzola. On your marks, get set, go. Take that step towards it. Elbow in, fingers to the sky, meet, squeeze, and freeze. I see you out there, Speedy. I see you out there, Soto. I see you working, Super Henry. I see you working, Mr. Paris, Mr. Hoover. I see you, Claude Felter family. Way to go, Chicago Cub. Nolan Ryan Jr., I see you there. Water slide, I see you working on this drill while you're trying to do a Zoom class as well. White Ninja, I see you working. I see you, Mr. Grant. Penguin and Pickle, keep going. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Penguin and Pickle, don't let Grandma beat you at this drill. She's been working hard. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, outstanding. Ten seconds remaining. Fingers to the sky. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Come on, Judge Jr. And stop. Write that number down. High five the sky and the wall drill. Way to go, way to go. Number three, alligators. It's the alligator drill. Up against the wall, ground balls with the honkus low to the ground. Stay low to the ground like a worm, like you're dancing on a toilet. Quick song, sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet while you're holding pizzas in your hand. On your marks. Get set, go. Alligator. Be honk us down. Glove dirty. Move the feet. Fielding triangle. Remember the triangle position? Glove, two feet. Be honk us low. Bend the knees. Alligator. Boom. Remember, down low. 
You're a mongoose. Up top, you're a kangaroo. Don't let the baby Joey fall out of your kangaroo pouch. Halfway there. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. The toes, the toes. In a perfect world, we feel this ground ball moving forward through the ball. Right toe, left toe, feel the ball. There's momentum there. I see you, water slide. I see you, BMW. Way to go, Speedy. Way to go, Dinger. Way to go, Arcade Fire. Finally here. Way to take a break from school and do a little baseball. Super Henry. And stop. Very nice. Write that number down. Arcade Fire, you're a little late. We did the high five the sky. We did the wall drill. And then we just did our ground ball alligators. All right, let's go soccer juggling. Number four. I didn't see anybody raise their hand on uh, have you graphed your data yet. I bet your math teacher would love it if you uh, sent them a graph of the data you've been collecting here at PE class. And by the way, those of you that have been attending and have perfect attendance here at Coach Ball Games class, I've got a thank you coming your way. OK, we're going to have a contest for those that have been showing up every single day. It's going to be a fun one. Way to go, Pickle. All right. Soccer juggling on your marks. Get set. Go. You can use a soccer ball. See how many in a row you can get without it hitting the ground. If you follow MLB on Instagram, there's a guy that was doing soccer juggling with a baseball and then he hits it with a bat. Pretty epic. You can see it on the MLB feed. Billy Bryce, way to go. Billy Bryce, are you saying that's you that's on that MLB uh, video? Oh, you saw it. Gotcha. Way to go, Pickle. Keep juggling that soccer ball. How many in a row? How many in a row? You can use your knee, your foot, your chest, your head, your behunkus. You just can't use your hands. Firestones are in the house. We're on drill number four, Firestones. It's the soccer juggling. And stop. Very good. Next trivia contest will be Thursday night, 730 Pacific, with our friends at Warstick Bats. Very good. Write that number down. Number five is figure eight. That's right, figure eight. Today I'm going to use a conga. I'm going to use a conga drum. Little baby. Baby conga. On your marks, through the legs, get set, go. Through the legs, through the legs. Come on now, quicker. A little quicker. A little quicker. How fast can you go? We're active on a Tuesday morning. Very good. Very good. If you're watching this on the playback on my YouTube channel, Let's say it's nighttime and you're watching it on a Tuesday night. Smile and tell somebody, at a boy or at a girl in your living room. Spread the joy. I'm reading a, a book about Tommy Lasorda. And man, he woke up every day just trying to be better. And then he would go try and make everybody else better. I'm going to read you a quote from his book at the end of class. But let's give Tommy Lasorda. Long time manager of the Dodgers, an attaboy. One, two, three, attaboy. Stop. Write that number down. I'm seeing some good numbers rolling in here from White Ninja. BB Raiden, Dom's dad, dad, Allison Ross. Who has started graphing their data? Anybody? Say, I've been graphing my data if you've been graphing your data. This is class number 36, by the way. So if you've been here for all the classes, then you should have 36 different days. Hula hoop, go! 60 seconds. Around the waist with your basketball or your sock or your tennis ball or your baseball, whatever it may be. Maybe you're using socks. As long as your shirt's tucked in, this should be okay. Now you might be thinking, how is this making me more athletic? Well, it's making you better at hand-eye coordination. And when you have good hand-eye coordination, it makes you a better athlete at all sports. 
your hands and your eyes working together. Work hard, dream big. That is what the shirt says. Soto has been graphing his data. I noticed that. The Firestones have been graphing their data. Very good. You two are inspiring the rest of these ball players to do the same. Jake Docks is in the house. That a boy, Jake. Get your basketball. Start doing this, buddy. Five seconds left. Three, two. Kid Chaos has been doing his data. Stop. Last one, ping pong drill. We call these the seven. We do them every day. We do the high five the sky. We do the wall drill. We do the alligators. We do the soccer juggling, the figure eight, the hula hoop, and number seven is ping pong. Go! You can use a ping pong paddle or a ping pong ball. You can use a wooden spoon and a ball of a piece of paper. Or you can just use your hand and a sock. But see how many in a row you can get. Ooh, 15. 15 in a row. Next time the ball hits the ground, switch hands. Now I'm going lefty. Ooh, six. Two. Only got two on that one. Seeing some great numbers coming in from Allison Roth, Pickle, Penguin, Arcade Fire, Super Henry. Once again, BMW, the Firestones. Who else is coming in? Soto, Billy Bryce with 82. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one, and stop. Very good. Write that number down, okay? And I'm going to give you a little lesson here on graphing the data, okay? Make sure you've got your numbers for all those seven. Okay, you should have seven different columns going. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to look up after class bar graph. And you are going to study what a bar graph is. And you can do it on YouTube or anywhere on the Internet. Uh, and then you're going to do a bar graph of your numbers today. Okay, very simple. Bar graph, do your data. And if that's too easy for you, do a line graph. If that's too easy for you, do a different type of graph. All right, very good. Get a quick water break. <sighs> quick trivia question as we're taking this water break. There are five baseball teams that play in California. How many baseball teams play in New York? How many Major League Baseball teams play in New York? Very good. BMW is in second place in or second grade, and he's working on bar graphs. The answer is two. Very good. Uh, Dinger, and who's the nickname with Mary Julianne? Speedy, that's right. Speedy, you guys got that right. You both get a little extra eye black. Whoop, whoop. So the question was, how many teams are in New York? Uh, it's the Mets and the Yankees. Um, very good. Next trivia question. How many Major League Baseball teams are in the state of North Carolina? My hometown. How many North Carolina Major League Baseball teams? Two is correct, Supergirl. And a girl. How many Major League Baseball teams in the state of North Carolina? Have not seen the correct answer yet, and I have. The Clodfelters got it right. Zero. The answer is zero. Um, Dinger, you also got that correct. No teams in North Carolina. Uh, so if you've already been to a Major League Baseball game, you're lucky. Coach Ball Game didn't see a Major League Baseball game uh, till I was much older. Uh, really cool. Last trivia question, and then we do our circuit training. What? is Coach Ball Game's favorite musical instrument. And it will surprise you. I love playing a lot of different instruments, but what's my favorite instrument to listen to? 
whenever I show up somewhere and I see this instrument, oh, when I hear this instrument, it just brings some, some good positive vibes. It's not the drums or the guitar. Now, I love playing both those instruments, but they're not my favorite. What do I love listening to? Now we're getting close with the harmonica. We're getting real close with the trumpet. I love the piano. I love the violin, but we still haven't quite gotten there. Not the tuba or the flute. Not the clarinet, but boy, are we close. Oh, what's left? What's left? And there you go. My mom gets it right, and so does Jess. Jess E.M., the saxophone. Let's give the saxophone a round of applause and a saxophone salute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Get your four bases, folks. Four bases. One, two, three, and four. You got home plate right here. You got first base right here. You got second base right here. And you got third base right over here. Now you need a trash can and a balled up piece of paper or a sock. Okay? And your trash can is gonna go right in the middle. Right in the middle of your baseball diamond. And now you're gonna run around with this sock. Or you're gonna run around with this balled up piece of paper. And each time you get to a base, you're gonna go LeBron James and try to make it in your basket. All right? Then you go and get it, and you go to the next base you're supposed to go to. All right? So, run in place, at home plate. You've got your baseball diamond, first, second, third, and home. You've got your trash can in the middle with your balled up piece of paper. At first base, five push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Then try to make your basket. Boom. At second base, five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. And then try to make your basket. Third base, body squats. One, two, three, four, five. And try to make your basket. And then when you get to home, act like your favorite animal. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm a mongoose screaming at a cobra snake. All right, and then let me know when you're done. Okay, if you haven't started yet, go ahead and go. First base is push-ups, and then make your basket. Second base, jumping jacks, and then make your basket. Third base, body squats. And then when you get to home plate, act like your favorite animal. Dinger is done. Speedy is done. Once we get about seven duns, Firestones are done. <laughs> Ricky Ticky Sammy. Frank Stokes is in the house. I love it. <laughs> Gene Carlos Stanton is done. Billy Bryce is done. BMW is done. Round of applause. Very good. Now we're just going to do that one more time. Push-ups, jumping jacks, body squats, and don't forget, uh, act like a, your favorite animal at home. See if you can beat me at this one. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Don't cheat on the body squats. Get 90 degrees. Be honk us down. And five. Meow. 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 Did you know mommy cats, when they bathe their babies, they don't put them in a bathtub. They just lick them. <laughs> Scholar salute. So, uh, is Claude Felter Arcade Fire? 
I think the Firestones and Speedy and uh, Amanda Freed's in the house. By the way, if you've ever heard of an Olympic gold medal, Amanda Freed has one. Let's give her an attagirl. One, two, three. Attagirl! She's an epic pitcher and softball player uh, for Team USA. And we're going to team up and do a little baseball softball clinic. And I can't wait. Right? Um, she, she doesn't know about that, but I just let her know now on live TV. All right. I think a few of you beat me. Oh, Chicago Cub beat me. Sorry, but Chicago Cub is in Arcadia, and I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Arcade Fire is as well. I know Arcade Fire is. Okay, guys, great job. Back to home plate. Same game. You got to throw it in the trash can, but now we got three different exercises. Ready? Go. Sit ups, five of them. One, two, three. Four, five. Now you got to make your shot. All right. Second base. Karate kicks. Yeah. Ten of them. Three. Yeah. 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 Seven. Eight. Nine. Karate. And shoot your basket. Nice. Third base. Ten floss dances. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. And then when you get to home, you got to dance around like you're an antelope with ants in your pants. Oh, I'm an antelope with ants in my socks. Very good. Did anybody beat me? Speedy did. Firestones beat me. Yeah, Patrick had a boy in Arcadia. Amanda Freed, you know it. Game on, mustache salute. Firestones are done. BMW is done. Jess Soto. Jess beat me, by the way. Bicep salute. Billy Bryce beat me. Way to go. Good job, Chicago Cub. Way to go. All right. Get some water if you need it. We're doing it again. Dinger was done a few seconds ago. Same thing. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Try to beat me. Five sit-ups. Ten karate kicks. Ten floss dances. And then an antelope with ants in their socks when you get to home. On your marks. No cheating. Get set. Go. Sit-ups. Uno. Dos. Trace, quad through, cinco, and shoot the shot. Karate kicks, yeah, make that karate sound. Yeah, hey, yeah. Boy, my shirt being tucked in and my big lot socks is really helping this karate kick be epic. 10, made the shot. 10 floss dances. <laughs> Wow, that's fast. Wow. And an antelope with ants in your socks. I've never seen an antelope wear socks, but if it did, it would look like this. Oh, man. Dinger beat me. Firestones and BMW beat me. I think Ram Charger beat me. Billy Bryce beat me. Anybody else beat me? A little water. You probably didn't wake up this morning thinking, I'm going to act like an antelope with ants in my socks. Soto's done. BMW Speedy. Thumbs up. Way to go. Love it. Get some water. And now we're going to spread some joy by doing two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Penguin and Pickle, you didn't beat me. Maybe you did. Spread joy. So in two minutes, do some epic stuff around the house. I, uh, you noticed my coloring book pages here. We're making a coloring book 
There's going to be a what a ball player get set. Go two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Yes, this is a baseball lifestyle one on one uh, cap, and it's epic. And uh, you should get one for sure. Now you got to make sure it doesn't get dirty. I I only wear this uh, in clean locations. Twenty seconds down. Let me know what activity you're doing. You never know. Your activity might end up in the Coach Paul game coloring book. Biceps alone. I know we've got a few writers out there. Um, you know, and most people are working from home. But are you like me? Do you work better? Do you write better if your shirt's tucked in? I always tuck that shirt in and, you know, part my hair and comb it before I sit down to the typewriter to write. I feel like I do better. Billy Bryce taking out the track. Sit down to the typewriter. All right, Dinger, have a great day. See you at three o'clock for the Sandlot. Water slide, changing the water for the dog, because that's what a ball player does. Soto's cleaning up toys. Billy Bryce is making breakfast for mom now. Epic. What are some other activities going on? Taking out the recycling in North Carolina, Chicago Cub. All right. Tell your friends there, Jacob, to uh, come on down to the Sandlot, 3 o'clock Pacific, every day. And that goes for all of you. Ten seconds left. I've got an afternoon baseball class. And uh, you should come. And stop. Very good. So quick team meeting pose, guys. I will leave you today with a quote. Judge Jr. made the bed and organized stuff. I love it. Um, the Firestones fed the dog as well. Uh, this is the book I'm reading right now, Tommy Lasorda. It's been very inspiring. Uh, I'll just read you this quote. Team meeting pose, on a knee, shoulders back, balance a cup of milk on your head. With uncomfortable what? Uncomfortable eye contact. That's right, Kid Chaos. How bad do you want it? What price are you willing to pay? Only you can answer them, he would conclude. When you wake up in the morning and look in the mirror to wash your face, brush your teeth, or comb your hair, when you look in that mirror, there are two people you cannot fool. That's yourself and God. You have to ask yourself if you are making the most of your God-given talents. You must wake up every day and say to yourself that you will be better today than you were yesterday. I loved reading that this morning. I highlighted it uh, because in these times when it's kind of tough and it's easy to be sad, uh, if your mind is, is in that place of looking at yourself in the mirror and trying to be better each day, well, then you, you're not thinking about the negative stuff. You're just thinking about this positive stuff. And that, that aligns with what we're going to be talking about today in my Sandlot, thinking about positive process instead of negative outcome. So it's $10 a class, and it's 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 Eastern, on my YouTube. Come join us. Uh, we're going to dig deep into the game of baseball and, and mentally how to approach sports the right way. Any questions, folks? White Ninja vacuumed, by the way. Jess doing some homework before video games. All right. Great to see you, Chicago Cub. Looking forward to it. I'm also doing private lessons over FaceTime. If you really want to dig into some baseball technique, we can do a FaceTime lesson or a Zoom lesson. But I'll see you at the Sandlot. All right, folks. Way to go. Good eye contact. You're welcome. Frank Stokes, Speedy, great quote. Thank you kindly there, Speedy. And we'll see you at the Sandlot at 3 o'clock Pacific. And a boy, Judge.